I remember it very well. He actually came to the studio, and it was about um, it was maybe 14 years ago now. So he um, he and I just bought the building. It was quite a, it was a derelict ruin. It was an old stables for horses, and and Elena had um, seen my work for over a number of years, and she was always very been very supportive and always incredibly um, uh, kind of. Uh, loyal to come and see shows and I had this piece in a tunnel underneath Holborn which she came to and then she got no she found a time for Norman to come to the studio I was, um, and um, it was very exciting for it to have him here I was very nervous he um, he came with a couple of members of his staff and it was really nice and they were talking about uh, um, cross fertilization and all these sorts of ideas of collaboration and things and I showed him these these geometric studies of of the platonic solids which have this radiant geometry and we were looking at these um there, um, but it was a yeah, it was an amazing kind of, and it was really kind of him to come all this way to the studio. Yeah, so we we've met a few times. That first time when he came to the studio, and then it was a few years before we actually did a project together, which became which was the um, Comcast headquarters in in Philadelphia. And um, so I had a show at Victoria Mirror, and on the last day of the show, or the day after the show, I managed to get Elena to come to see the show. And it was a whole series of um, 1.4 metre work studies, like this sort of scale, of these tetrahedral growth stacks, and they were called paradigms. And then there was one work in the show that was quite different from the rest, because all the, all the works were made of core 10, sort of rusty steel, but there was one new work that was a bit of an experiment, and I wasn't quite sure about it yet, in which we'd exploded the geometry and we generated this helical stem, a bit similar to the one inside this one, that driven up, that was always, was, that was driven by the center of each triangle, and it formed this sort of, this helix inside, which supported this exploded structure. And it was all made of mirrored stainless steel. Anyway, Elena saw this piece, and she sort of stopped dead in her tracks, and she said, oh my God, I've got to show this to Norman. And quickly then all these um, directors from, Pay, from, 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 uh, from Foster's came, came along to see this piece and then I, I, I was flown to New York and I met Norman and the Comcast group and it was very fast paced and there was suddenly this sort of realization that this piece was perfect in a building that I hadn't, I wasn't aware of yet. So it was really an, an interesting um, uh, collaboration between Norman and, and Elena who is so sort of supportive of and, and um, involved in all of his, uh, his projects. And there was this, and so there was a really sort of an amazing kind of imaginative uh, kind of um, idea that she ha she and he had for this piece on a massive scale because it was only 12 it was only 1.2 meters tall and we then made it 18 meters tall for this atrium. So I remember in the early 80s going to Stansted Airport and taking a flight from there and take and, and just really sort of them my parents really appreciating and sort of um, imparting all the sort of really sort of the, mar the marvels of this building and the sort of thought and the sort of um, the elegance and the, the subservience to function, which I think is something that's incredibly sort of consi consistent through uh, Norman's work is, this, um, is this, uh, this real thought to the client's needs and, and, and not just the sort of singularity of thought about the, um, the identity of the architect, but there is always a, um, a subservience to, to function, which I think is one of the reasons why he's so successful. And I think the, the other thing that's incredibly important about Norman's stuff is that there is, um, there is the unity between structure and, and design and that so many architects know nothing about how to make things stand up. And I think that the fact that Norman unified um, structural engineering with architecture under one roof is sort of incredibly important. And I, I'm a huge fan of that.